Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button because if you like retro gaming, you came to the right place. If you like crazy people, you came to the right place. This guy's crazy. You know why? Because I'm going to break the seal on a rare factory sealed video game. Something unheard of today in today's climate of grading and all that kind of stuff. I don't care. I'm going to break open a factory sealed rare video game because I want to play this game. It's a game I've always wanted to add to my collection. I got it for a good deal at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And I'm going to show you some other pickups from the expo along with breaking open three factory sealed Atari 2600 games that I got a great deal on. And I'll tell you what I played for those Atari 2600 games. And let's get to it. Let's break open some factory sealed games. Complete madness. These are my PRGE pickups at an incredible time at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. With my patrons, I shared some behind the scenes stuff, some cool talks I had with Angry Video Game Nerd. Had an amazing time at PRGE. What a great show. And I'm gonna share the story, kind of, a, kind of an interesting story of how I got this rare game at PRGE, why I'm gonna break it open and the unusual circumstances around buying it. But get, let's get to this Atari trilogy that I bought first. Now, at some point in the show on Saturday, I was looking at the booth of a friend of mine, a guy I know, just through conventions, not a close friend, just an acquaintance, and good dude. And he had just, you know, the typical retro games, modern games and whatnot. And I saw three Atari 2600 games in oversized boxes games I knew I didn't have and that I needed for my collection and I was intrigued and I looked at them they were factory sealed and I thought these are probably going to be more than I want to pay but they were ultra dirt cheap and I'll tell you what I paid for them in just a second and I will open these California games I've always liked the cover for this very 80s got a cool vibe to it um high quality game for the 2600 it's a pc you know com home computer port of uh you know, a game with athletic events, what they used to call, I guess they still do, extreme events, whatever. Let's just very callously break open this factory seal. Now, what's interesting about this, not only it was a factory seal, is the vendor note. It says new, $5, right? $5, PC, $31.74. Now, a friend of mine had to point this out to me because I just saw it as some scribble scrabble. And he said he actually took the time to look this up on video game price charge, 3174 factory sealed at the time he looked it up and he was charging $5. I sort of thought I, maybe he was just caught him slipping or something, but he's just wanting to get rid of these. Check out this big, beautiful box. So amazing and just so factory fresh. Now, anytime I open one of these, I bend the lid up top. I'm sure I could take the time and keep the box in better shape, but oh well. There's the cartridge. Very cool. I love breaking open factory sealed games to see what kind of inserts you're gonna get. Nice big manual, things upside down here. So you get the manual. They cut some corners here, it's black and white. Got the free software card here for a drawing of some kind. Decent looking manual. And the product catalog for Epic's Games, very cool. Very nice full color catalog for offerings from Ep Epic's. They had a lot of great games back in the day. I remember playing a lot of Pit Stop. Very cool stuff. So there's Factor Seal game number one of three for the 2600. And again, oh looky here, Zellers. That was a retailer, I believe in Canada. And then uh, here's the vendor's note with the price chart, charging $2, $3 for this one. Price, price chart says 2709. Again, another factory sealed. You can see the horizontal seal there. Let's open this bad boy up. And again, let's pop this sucker open at the top, bending it as I go. There's the cartridge, so nice and fresh. Got that new game smell, new car smell. Pretty cool stuff. Summer games, now these Olympic titles slash event titles for the 2600, 
Very elaborate for the time. Again, same stuff, free software card and the catalog. Cool stuff. On the back, it shows you the computer compatibility chart. So we're talking computers like the Apple II, Amiga, Atari 800, Apple II, Atari ST, IBM PC, Mac, and then video cartridge series. Just three games for the old uh, video cartridge series. 2,600 games. Which I got all three and one amazing deal. Summer games, check it out. Pretty nice graphics for the 2,600 there. And last and certainly not least, Winter Games. Now this wrapper fell off a little bit in transport. I'd stuffed it down into my backpack. Another Zeller sticker on there. And this one, I don't see the, oh, here we go. This one says new $5, PC 2150. There you go. Again, the dealer wrote what the game was actually worth and the paltry sum he was charging it for. Anyway, he told me he would give me all three for just $10, an amazing deal. And I didn't have these games before in my collection, the boxed versions anyway. I didn't have CIB copies like these, but I just, just card only. So I'm very happy to add uh, these nice white labels. Maybe you think they're a little boring, but to me, they're kind of crisp and nice looking, especially factory fresh like this. And again, looks like you get the same inserts, the manual, the catalog, and that little card there. Pretty plain manual there, but whatever. Very happy to own these games. Again, very elaborate considering the limitations of the 2600 compared to personal computers. And I wanna show you guys another game I got at PRGE before we get to the big reveal, the rare, rare factory sealed game that I'm going to open. Mooncrest, I picked this up for my friends at Opcode Games who I've done some work for. They do beautiful work, very sturdy box. Just amazing and it sort of opens kind of a clamshell thing here you can see that what fell out here is a trading card that's pretty cool interesting back in the day trading cards would have been a cool idea for video games especially in the 70s and 80s growing up as kids we loved baseball cards look at that beautiful catalog with the offerings from Opcode games, including Moon Cresta. Now as a kid in the arcades, I absolutely loved Moon Cresta. Sort of a Space Invaders or Galaga type game where you're firing away at invaders that fly in formations above. Such a cool game. You're def defending the galaxy from alien invaders. One of my favorites in the arcades back in the day, and I'm very happy to own now for ColecoVision, talk about nostalgia, playing a game that wasn't put on a home console back in the day, now playing it for ColecoVision in cartridge form. So freaking cool. What a strange amalgamation of nostalgia, an arcade game that I used to play and love. And on the ColecoVision for a system it wasn't released for back in the day, or for any system really, any home console back then. Mooncrest, a very, very cool game. My one non-game pickup at PRGE was this paperback copy of Superman 4. They had a VHS swap meet and a dealer had this on the table for, had it for $7. Just got pictures from the movie here. Not the greatest movie, but I do collect superhero paperbacks. You guys have seen my video, some of you, on my big superhero collection of paperbacks. I had never actually seen this any, anywhere before online or uh, for sale in a bookstore, but boom, this was a great pickup for just $4. And it was a lot of cool, it was really cool seeing this VHS swap meet that was at PRGE in another room from the vendor's room, a smaller room uh, down the hall. So very cool on that. Let's get to it guys. The big reveal, the moment you've been waiting for. Let's break out, break out 2000, shall we? A notoriously rare game for the Atari Jaguar. I have always wanted to own this game for my collection, my Jaguar collection, my small but proud Atari Jaguar collection because I have Defender 2000 and I've got the Missile Command game for the console and I've always wanted this Breakout 2000. One time I passed up a CIB copy for $90 at the Classic Gaming Expo in Las Vegas. I've seen CIB copies since, everywhere, anywhere from 
you know, 150 up to $200. And let's just say I got a really good deal on this factory sealed copy of the game. Probably let you patrons know exactly what I paid for it, but let's just say I got a great deal. And a funny story real quick before I open this. So on Friday, I'm at PRGE, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. We're setting up. I'm working at the Heritage Auctions booth where I work at Heritage as a video game cataloger. And we're setting up. We get all set up. So I go look around and there's a vendor not far from us. He's got a bunch of CIB Atari Jaguar games. Very shocking to see so much Atari Jaguar in one place. And he did indeed have Breakout 2000. Complete in box. I asked to look at it. I salivate over it. I want this game. I asked him how much it was. He's still setting up. A lot of their stuff was out. A lot of people were coming up. They're obviously still trying to set up. A lot of vendors like selling stuff before the show or the night before the show, the day before show, before the show while they're setting up. Because the more they sell, the better, the less they have to take home with them, the more money they make. A lot of dealers are happy to sell even while they're setting up. But this guy said, sorry, I'm setting up, not for sale. And I said, well, hey, I'll come back first thing tomorrow morning and ask you about this. I went back to his booth about an hour or two later. Um, and I said, where's Breakout 2000? Did you sell it? And he goes, oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't say anything rude. I didn't, I just didn't say anything. I just kind of probably looked irritated and walked away. Turns out the guy did me a favor because I think I got this factory sealed copy of Breakout 2000 cheaper than what his CIB copy would have been based on the CIB copies I've, I've seen. Now check it out, Breakout 2000, a futuristic or reimagined version of the original Atari Breakout. Check out the hang tab there and the vertical factory seal. Awesome stuff. Let's tear into it. Now Breakout, the original Breakout 1976 Atari, that was, uh, the game that made me decide, hey, maybe I like video games even more than my beloved pinball. And from there, I went to Space Invaders and Asteroids and a million other games. And check it out, guys. <laughs> Breaking open the seal on Breakout 2000, a game that's entirely too rare. Should have just picked up a CIB copy, kept this and sold it or graded it or whatever, but no, I want a brand new copy. Woohoo! This is exciting, guys. This is like a trip back through time. What cheaper way to travel time than to break open a factory sealed game? Yeah, could have sold this and got a card only or whatever, but hey, it's like Christmas in October. Extremely cool. I'm gonna be try to be careful with this while I open it up. Now, I don't know what is in a factory sealed Jaguar game other than the game itself. Now, you guys, a lot of you know that Breakout 2000 is notoriously rare. It was released late in the life of the Atari Jaguar. And you guys can let me know in the comments. I believe this was only available through special order, perhaps mail order. Let me know in the comments about that. Breakout 2000 game manual, pretty simplistic. It, they were obviously saving money at this point. This is no illustrations or anything. Regardless, that doesn't surprise me. I am thrilled to get this. No, no frills here, just the game and some inner cardboard there. The cartridge is in a little taped plastic bag there. And the label is not very fancy. It was manufactured and distributed by Telegames, who did some games late in the life of systems or after uh, consoles were discontinued, like the ColecoVision, after Coleco had you know, discontinued the ColecoVision. Um, Telegames had continued to pr produce games for it, and they did some other stuff as well, some Atari items, including Breakout 2000. I am so excited to play this, awesome. Again, very simplistic uh, packaging and design. The box does look cool though. I do like the box, very nice. Perhaps they'd done the art uh, before they had canceled the, uh, the Atari Jaguar, whatever the case. Um, anyway, there you go. Should have flipped it on eBay, but I wanted to open it for you guys and I wanted a brand new copy of a game that I've wanted for many years now. So freaking cool to finally have Breakout 2000. This will go great with my Atari Jaguar collection. 
All right, guys, let me know. Have you ever broken open a factory sealed game just so you could have, like, like in modern times, when you knew you could have flipped it on eBay or graded it or whatever, have you opened up a rare, potentially expensive factory sealed game? I would love to hear from you. Um, or do you think I'm just absolutely crazy for opening a game like this when I could have just got a CIB copy and sold the factory sealed version? Regardless, I wanted to open it. I wanted to see exactly what was inside and I wanted a brand new copy with that fresh car smell. Looking forward to playing Breakout 2000. As you guys know, I love retro reimagined, keeping these games simple and fun, yet adding some flourishes like more sophisticated graphics or some power-ups or different worlds or levels or whatever. Love retro reimagined i'm excited guys i've got some brand new games that i've just opened to play and before i keep you too long i'm gonna let you guys get back to your games thank you so much for watching thank you for liking this video thank you for subscribing to the channel i really appreciate it and hey if i run another across another factory sealed game that i just absolutely want to play and the circumstances are right i may do this again so thank you so much guys that we will talk to you in another video and again let me know in the comments am i crazy or is it awesome to open factory sealed retro games talk to you later Mario!